Here we are at the Remember Blake Car Show, and I'm here with Cindy and Emily. Thank you. Big Dan Pfeiffer here with the South Sider Voice newspaper. We're down in Franklin this morning on this beautiful Saturday afternoon for the Remember Blake Car Show. Uh, we're here with John Wales who will explain to you a little bit about the Remember Blake Car Show before we get out and start looking at all these beautiful cars and talking to all these fun people. John, tell us a little bit about the Remember Blake Car Show and, and what it's all about and where the money goes and so forth. Sure, Dan, and thanks for having us on. Uh, Blake Dickus was a 10-year-old boy in Franklin in, in 2006 when he was brutally murdered and along with his stepmother, China Dickus, in their home. And that murder is unfortunately still unsolved. So we do this um, car show each year to honor Blake so, we, so people can remember who he was and hopefully someone will hear about the case and realize that maybe they knew something or they heard something or they heard somebody talk about the case and maybe heard about somebody being involved and could come forward with the, that crucial tip that the police need to help solve the case and that's really why we do this is try to try to get that out now in the process we have found that we uh, tend to raise a lot of money um, and and what, what we do with that money is we give it to two different charities the first one is the youth assistance crime prevention program run by the Johns County Sheriff's Department uh, if you're familiar with McGruff the crime dog this is the that's that program and they are able to help provide uh, officers to go into schools, elementary schools here in uh, Johnson County, and also the uh, ch children's ID cards and the DNA kits and things like that. And then the other half goes to the Franklin Boys and Girls Club, which is a great club here in, in Franklin where boys and girls can go and um, they can go after school, they can be involved with extracurricular activities and sports and things of that nature. And Blake just loved going there. So um, his mother, Christina, felt very strongly that she wanted to, to provide something to them. So That sounds great and what a great cause. Tell us about this, this uh, creation right here. Well, this has always been a City of Franklin sponsored event. So this year, Alan Whitaker, who makes all these, wanted to do something very special. So not just having a trophy that we hand out to folks, but maybe having a permanent trophy on display. So this really isn't a trophy so much as it is a statue that's going to go on permanent display in Franklin. It's going to be donated to the city. We're hoping to get it placed somewhere nice, uh, in a nice location downtown, so that everyone who sees it for decades to come will realize that um, Blake Dickens was a very special part of this community, and we miss him. Well, and hopefully it'll lead to some leads and maybe help solve this terrible crime. Absolutely. Okay, folks, we're going to go out and visit some of these fine folks here, look at some of these beautiful cars. Come on, let's go. I'm here now with Bob Feldake, lifelong Southsider, and Bob has a beautiful 71 Chevrolet truck here. Bob, tell us a little bit about this truck and why you like these so much. Oh, it's a 71 Chevy, and I bought the first one the day before me and my wife got married, and that's 38 years ago. And uh, they're solid steel, got the 350 motor in it, and it's just a great all-around truck, and everybody just loves them. Tell them just a little bit about what happened to that very first one you bought first one I bought it was stolen from me a week later and uh, 52 police up in Indianapolis chased it shot shot it up 17 times and finally got it stopped and uh, big investigation after that <laughs> but you went ahead and drove it that way with all the bullet holes didn't you when you got it back oh yes I drove it around the south side for two years like that and me and my wife had more fun with it than anything Everybody, everybody thought that, I, well, I told everybody that we robbed a bank and got away with it. <laughs> <laughs> Always a clown. Tell us about this truck, Bob. This is, uh, like I say, a 71. I've, I've had it for a year, and it was totally redone, and it was about 80% done. And then I did a few other little things to it. Changed the headers on it, the steering column, 
and just spruced it up a little bit. Well, it sure is a beauty, and the colors certainly jump right out at you. Thanks for sharing it with us, Bob. All right, thank you. Here's a very rare car. You don't see many of these. This is a 1966 Park Lane two-door hardtop. The Park Lane was the top of the line for Mercury this year, and this one only has 37,000 miles on it. I ran into the owner of this beautiful car earlier this summer, and I've taken pictures of it, and it will be one of my featured cars in the Car Nuts column coming up soon. Now I'm here with Dave Irwin of Beach Grove with his 1928 Ford two-door. It's quite a hot rod. I see it around at a lot of these shows. Tell me a little bit about it, Dave. Well, it's an all-steel body. It's a 1928 Ford on a 32 frame rail, Pete and Jake frame. It's a 350 small block Chevy with two Rochester 2G carburetors on it that kind of look good. That's, they, that's about all they do is look good. <laughs> But it's automatic transmission, 700 R, uh, pretty good down the road. It uh, it'll run down the highway at 70, 75 mile an hour all day long. Yeah, you enjoy taking this to a lot of shows each summer. Oh, absolutely, love driving it. That's all we do is drive it. That's fantastic. Ever taken the grocery store, Dave? Uh, it's been known to maybe pick up a bag or two of groceries. So we could officially call it the grocery getter. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Dave, for sharing your car with us. All right, thank you. Hey, you know, you see a lot of Chevelles out there, some Chevelle convertibles, and you even see some of the Pontiac convertibles, but a 442 convertible from 1965 is not a very common sight, and this particular one is in outstanding condition. It's also probably a kind of rare color. You see most of these, when you do see them, they're black or they're red, maybe they're white, but this is probably the original color on this car, and it's done very nicely. All right, folks, I'm here now with Bob Screwjack. Dan, Dan, I told you three times, it's Scorions. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Scorions, what? Scorions. I'm not gonna even attempt Smith, that one. Smith, Smith. Smith. Like Smith. With his beautiful 51 Chevy wagon. Now, I say beautiful, but in a lot of hot rodders' eyes, they love this Pantina look, which is the original paint, just the way they found it and clean it up and try and keep it from rusting any farther. Is that about right? That's very true, very true, yes. Tell us about where you found this car. This car is a Texas car. Uh, I actually got it in Columbus at, uh, at one of the good guys show, but it was, <laughs> hi, it's from, it's from Texas, so it spent its whole life in Texas, so it's really in good shape. It really is, uh, it's surface rust only, surface rust only. Very solid all the way through. And when you bought the car, it had already been modernized with the front end and the engine. Tell us a little bit about that. You got a Mustang 2 front end? Yeah, I got a Mustang 2 underneath it. It's got a 700R Ford transmission, got a new crate motor in it. Um, pretty much it, I put, a, I put the sun visor on it and the, and the rack and the board on top. Well, that's a real eye catcher at any show when somebody sees an old, and it looks like a Woody too. Where the rust is, makes it look like a Woody. So with a surfboard on top and you might just think he's an old surfer from the 30s. That's right, that's right. Well, 50s, I didn't mean yeah, well, it's a, you it's a You can much. do whatever you want. Since you done screwed up the name, you just well screw everything else up. <laughs> I do it well. Right. Thanks for showing us your car, Bob. Nice, nice talking to you, Dan. Thank you. Hey, Lydia, what are you doing? I am selling raffle tickets for our $3,300 Snap-on Toolbox. How much would I have to pay to make sure that I got that toolbox? Uh, not a fixed. This oh, 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 oh. Fixed. So I better just get I better just get my wallet out, huh? Better just give me some money and buy your tickets and try to win. Okay, I guess that's what I'll do, folks. I'm here now with Alan Whitaker 
And Alan is one who handmade each and every one of these 175 plus trophies for the Remember Blake Car Show. Tell us a little bit about what you've done here, Alan. Well, there was a total of 195 trophies. Uh, each one are similar, but totally different. Um, we had a lot of companies donate parts, transmission shops, engine shops, and um, everybody was kind enough to help us out with that. And we just sit down and let the parts talk to us, and we just assembled something fun and unique like each and every car out here at the show. You know a lot of people will get an award, and it's just a little plaque, and they probably end up on their garage floor. But these things are probably going to end up on people's mantles. Now, each and every one of these is made out of internal engine and transmission parts. Isn't that correct? Yes, sir. Um, rocker arms, push rods, connecting rods. And what we feel, if you're going to go bowling, go win a bowling trophy. If you're going to come to a car show that John Wales puts on and I build the trophies, you're going to have something that has to do with the cars. All right. Thanks a lot, Alan. We're going to take a look at all these beautiful trophies now. Thank you guys for showing up. Enjoy the show and have fun. Great, thanks. Well, folks. The Remember Blake Car Show has turned out to be a little more than we expected. There are over 360 cars here today, and we've kind of run out of time. So we're going to make this a two-parter, and we'll have the second part next week. Be sure to check our website, southsidervoice.com, and you'll see part two of the Remember Blake Car Show. Hey, kid, where'd you get that ice cream cone?